The Delaware Riverkeeper Network presented the Delaware River Basin Commission with Valentine's Day messages signed by 2,100 people who want the DRBC to schedule seven public hearings for the Penny's Pipeline project. The messages were presented at the DRBC's February 10th public meeting. Only one of the DRBC's five commissioners attended the hearing. Hi, I'm Maya Van Rossum. I'm the Delaware Riverkeeper here on behalf of the Delaware Riverkeeper Network. And Krista is also from the Delaware Riverkeeper Network staff here representing the members and communities that we represent. And we are here today in the spirit of Valentine's. And while Valentine's traditionally is a day to show care and love for the people who are special in our lives, we believe that Valentine's Day is also a reminder of how important it is to show care and regard for the others who exist in our community, who live in our community, and for the other people who touch our lives directly and indirectly. So we are here today as a community to deliver Valentine's care to you. We bring to you large Valentine's signed by over 2,100 individuals who care about our river and who care about our commun communities. And we are bringing to you bouquets of flowers to remind you of the love that, and the beauty that nature can bring when we take care of it, and also hopefully to lighten your day. And for the four commissioners who do not attend today's meeting, we will take the bouquets with us and we will bring them back to the next meeting. And for you, Executive Director Tambini, and for the other commissioner, we will put them in the box. And if you choose to throw them away, that's certainly your business, but that would be very sad. Mm -hmm. We hope that you are inspired this Valentine's to show care to all of the communities that will be impacted by the cuts of the Penny's Pipeline if it were ever to be constructed. We ask that you deliver to our communities a Valentine commitment to hold seven independent hearings along the length of the proposed Penny's Pipeline route. Why seven hearings? We ask for seven hearings because it makes sure that everyone will have a full and fair opportunity to be heard and it makes sure that DRBC will get the full benefit of the public process. Why seven hearings? Because it means that there can be a hearing every 10 to 20 miles of pipeline. It means that there will be greater accessibility to these hearings. It means there will be less travel time for those that will be affected and those that need to speak. It means that there will be less cars on the road and less fossil fuels being burned. And I live within shouting distance of Fiddler's Creek, one of the streams emptying into the Delaware that is fed by tributaries that have their source on Baldpate Mountain. I am deeply concerned because among other impacts, some of these source waterways would be directly affected by the pipeline, whose proposed route skirts the existing JCP&L power line right of way for nearly two miles as it transects the mountain. But this is just one instance along the 114 mile route. Many other streams and tributaries in the Delaware River watershed would also be crossed. People are worried about the negative in impacts on their properties, their farms, their horses and livestock, their water quality, noise, the loss of property value, safety, the list goes on. It doesn't seem fair that some folks would need to travel well over an hour in order to be heard and get their concerns on the record. This is a very serious and certainly this is very serious and certainly worth taking the extra steps to ensure that everyone will have the opportunity to testify at hearings where they can speak without fear of being challenged. Dr. Reznikov's report concludes that the Pennsylvania DEP's report failed to fully evaluate and take action regarding impacts on the public, workers, and the environment of dangerous levels of radioactivity in materials produced by fracking for gas in the state. This failure by Pennsylvania DEP to accurately assess 10 norm was due to an incomplete investigation by Pennsylvania DEP and its private contractor that conducted the study and several errors or invalid conclusions on what was included. The truth is dangerous radioactive liquids, gases, and solids are entering the environment and potentially contaminating water supplies through practices used in gas well development storage of produced fluids and the transport and disposal of drilling waste, not only in Pennsylvania, but disposed here in New Jersey and New York as well. I don't have any written remarks, but I did want to come to you today to mention that uh, during this process we have uncovered an arsenic plume that's associated with a currently existing gas pipeline running from Hunterton County and Somerset County. The nature of this plume suggests that it is impacting several hundred wells at a distance of a couple of thousand feet away from the pipeline. This summer we will be doing field work to try to understand the mechanism by which this process is taking place. The design of the Penice pipeline 
is such that it cuts across several C1 streams and also is perpendicular to the hydraulic permeability of these formations that contain the arsenic. Therefore, the degree of impact that the Pinney's Pipeline can have on the watershed can be quite significant. Every single township in New Jersey has passed a resolution against this project, every single impacted township, sorry, against the Pennies Pipeline. That is a tremendous outpouring of opposition against this project. Many more in Pennsylvania have passed resolutions opposing this project along the right of way. Please take us up on our date, come to our communities, hear from impacted residents, and you will not be disappointed. Lastly, a little poem. We love the Delaware and its water so blue. We must protect our river and we need your help too. Thank you.